Good afternoon, YouTube and Facebook viewers. I'm Rebecca Sosmarski with the Register Mail. I am here today with Mark Thomas of Th Watson Thomas Funeral Homes. And uh, Mark, can you tell us a little bit about how the business got started and then how you got involved? In sure, yeah. Uh, J.P. Foley, uh, who, who was the uh, founder of uh, Foley Mortuary in Galesburg, actually started working in uh, funeral service in the late 1890s in Galesburg. And uh, in uh, 1925, he decided to go out on his own and uh, constructed a brand new funeral home in um, North Broad Street uh, and opened that up in uh, 1926. And he operated out of that funeral home until his death. And, uh, and then it was taken over by uh, one of his sons, John Foley. Um, again, he operated it until his death in 1977, at which time it was purchased by uh, John and Peg Watson. And, uh, they operated as Foley Watson Funeral Home until 1988 when they moved to our, our new facility that's almost, it'll be 30 years old this year, uh, here at the 1849 North Seminary Street. Awesome. And how did you come into the business? Sure. Um, I was born and raised here in Galesburg, and uh, after mortuary school, obviously, like anything else, I needed a job, so uh, I ended up, I landed in Bloomington as a licensed funeral director. and. I was working over there when a um, childhood adult family friend of ours who was actually working here uh, part-time called my dad and said, hey, you know, John was actually looking for a licensed funeral director because uh, the funeral director that he had was no longer uh, working at the funeral home. So he was in search for somebody and kind of looking for somebody younger and, and uh, obviously a native hometown person would have been his preference. So. I called John and uh, interviewed with John and started here in December of 1998. So I've been here just shy of 20 years now. Sure. What's been your favorite part so far about? Gosh, you know, there's just been so many different things that, you know, obviously I think my favorite part was um, John and Peg helped, helped uh, Trisha and my wife and I um, really fulfill probably really my dream of, of owning a funeral home. And, um, you know, they sold it to us and, uh, 2009 so um, you know I really probably have to say that's you know that's been my favorite part because I was really able to fulfill that dream I had of owning my own funeral home someday so that's that's been pretty exciting for us sure and something you did was expand into cremation sure um, yeah. as the urns behind you can you talk a little bit about that sure um, you know as anything as 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 time changes and so do people um, in order to to stay what I felt was relevant and and, um, and and the way funeral service is 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 going these days more and more people are being cremated as it becomes more socially acceptable and um, there's just many different reasons that people choose cremation these days um, in 2014 we opened up our Thomas Legacy Center which is this Tucko building right here on our property that sits right behind uh, Watson Thomas Funeral Home it houses a, a large room for like a celebration of life or after funeral luncheons or that kind of thing with whatever somebody might like to do to celebrate and honor their loved one. But uh, the other side of it houses our, uh, our crematory. We wanted uh, to make sure that, that people in fact were, you know, just taken care of the way we'd want our loved ones taken care of. And really the only way we felt like that we could really honestly and truthfully do that was, was have a crematory right here on site. And then you went and added a pet cream. We did, right? we did. Um, I've been a pet person my whole life, and, and uh, I've had dogs and cats you know, as long as I can always remember. And uh, we have our own two puppies now, and, you know, they're certainly an important part of our life. And, you know, it just kind of seemed remiss that, that there wasn't anybody here in Galesburg to take care of people's beloved pets after after they died as far as, you know, being able to cremate them. And, and um we know how important that our our uh, fur babies are to us, and and uh, you know, we wanted to be able to just help families in another way. Sure, and we were kind of talking earlier about some of the requests people have made for their loved ones who are humans. Sure. But what are some that people have had for the pets? Have sure, you um, know a lot of the same things that that uh, people do for their um, human family members, they're doing for their pet family members, whether it's. You know cremation jewelry and you know there's some of that over here behind us that you know they put their put their dog in you know or some of the ashes of their dog or cat um, in some cremation jewelry or maybe get a a, a paw print made that's you know the, you know kind of like um, 
the thumbprint necklaces people do for their family. We can do paw print or nose print necklaces, um, you know, for people's dogs, and you know, they can kind of keep that close to their heart and you know, wear that around their neck. So, um, you know, those are some of the the cool things that you know that people do to to remember and honor their their uh, fur babies. And there's definitely been a lot of requests for humans too, but viewers, you'll have to check out the Register Mail's print edition this Sunday to hear those. Um, and in the meantime, Mark, thank you for being with us Absolutely. today. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. You're welcome.